Hello, children. Welcome to the second session of children's liturgy. The main message in today's reading is, "Trust me." Let us first listen to today's reading. O Word of God, come into this space. O Word of God, come send us your grace. Open our minds, show us your truth. Transform our lives anew. God said to Abraham. Take your son Isaac to the top of the mountain, and offer him as a sacrifice to me. Abraham loved Isaac very much, but he trusted God completely and was ready to obey. He loaded his donkey with wood and set off to the mountain God had shown him. On the way, Isaac asked his father, "Where is the lamb you will sacrifice?" Abraham answered him, "God will provide a lamb." When they arrived, they built an altar and piled it high with wood. Then, Abraham tied Isaac's hands and feet and took out a knife, ready to kill his only son. Suddenly, a voice from heaven said, "Abraham, Abraham, do not kill the son you love so much. Your trust and love for me was so great that you were ready to sacrifice your only son for my sake." Looking up. Abraham noticed a ram whose horns were tangled in a thorn bush. He offered the ram as a sacrifice to God, in place of his precious son Isaac. How are you doing for your Lent sacrifice promise card? What did you promise to do for prayer, fasting, and charity? How often are you following up on your promise card? Are you doing it every day? Or do you sometimes procrastinate by telling yourself, "It is okay. I will do it tomorrow instead," and tomorrow comes and you do the same thing? In today's reading, we hear about how Abraham was willing to sacrifice his only son Isaac. During those times, people would sacrifice animals by killing them and offering them to God. Life is the most precious gift of all, and these offerings showed how much they loved God. Abraham and his wife Sarah were always longing for a child. When Isaac was born, Abraham and Sarah were already old, so Isaac was especially precious to them. How do you think Abraham felt when God asked him to sacrifice his only son Isaac? The Bible tells us that it took Abraham and Isaac three agonizing days to reach Mount Moriah, riding in silence and in excruciating pain. Isaac was old enough at that time to make his own choices. It was difficult for Abraham and Isaac to obey God, but yet they chose to place their absolute trust in Him. God knew. That Abraham and Isaac needed to go through this test of obedience. When he saw that Abraham truly honored and obeyed him, he sent an angel to stop Abraham. Abraham sacrificed the ram that was caught in the bush instead. Because of Abraham's faith and obedience, God told Abraham that He will richly bless Abraham, and give him descendants as many as there are stars in the sky, or grains along the seashore. Do you know who else was truly obedient and had total trust in God? Jesus. God loves us so much that He sent His only Son Jesus to be sacrificed for our sins. Did Jesus know he would have to suffer greatly and be humiliated publicly? Yes. Did Jesus know he would have to die on a cross for us? Yes. Jesus knew what was to come, and he willingly obeyed God and trusted God fully. In the last video, we learned about how Saint Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, obeyed God. To take care of Mary and Jesus, he did what God told him to do faithfully. 
we are also called to trust and obey God when things get difficult and challenging. It may be something we do not want to do, but because God calls us to, we should trust and obey Him as He knows best what is good for us. Just like now, I am sure your parents ask you to obey certain instructions. It may be that you should not play too much computer games, or eat too much sweets, or to go to bed early, or to take medicine when you are sick. You may not like it, but you should obey because they know best what is good for you. You would do the same too for your younger siblings or cousins, wouldn't you? If you saw your two-year-old sister reach out to play with a knife, you would quickly move the knife far away from her. You would want her to obey you and not touch knives again because you do not want her to get injured. It is not easy to obey God all the time. Similarly, you may find it difficult to follow through with your promise card. You may be thinking, It is so difficult. I want to play with my computer games now. I want to eat the chocolate now. You may not realize it, but in obeying God, it helps you to be and do what God knows is best for you. The season of Lent reminds us to make conscious efforts to obey God. The stories of Abraham, Isaac, St. Joseph and Jesus tell us that they received the fullness of God's blessings because they chose to obey Him. Start by practicing what you have written in your promise card. If you have not written your promise card yet, it is not too late. Do it now! Will you ask God to wait, or will you do as He asks? The choice is yours. Let us end with this prayer together. Dear loving and faithful God, thank you for showing us that you love us and want us to receive the fullness of your blessings. Sometimes it is difficult to obey, but I love and trust you, so I choose to obey you. Help me to be faithful like Abraham, Isaac, St. Joseph and Jesus. Amen.